20 smells on display that bring across different aspects of smells from the present and the past and future smell of the city of Melbourne. Some of the smells are real, or meaning concrete smells existing in the city that I've been sampling and replicated. We produce a chemical compound, dirt or pollution or food. And some of the smells are abstract smells with historical references where there has been no concrete source. The importance of the senses is tremendous. We know one thing for sure. We have a body, and on that body we have at least five amazing interfaces that need to be challenged and need to be used, otherwise they decrease their functions. In the case of, of my work, you know, it's very simple. Without breathing, you are dead. Every breath you do, you inhale smell molecules, information about the situation, about a city, about the planet, and beyond. And it's all about memory, collective memory, and individual memory. We all know that smell is the sense that immediately trigger memory. Two synapses, you trigger memory and emotion. So it's a very efficient sense to work with if you want to work on the topic of memory. The way I work is literally walking around, identifying, in this case, a city using my own nose and reassuring that the smells are permanent and not just for a second, but part of identity of a site. I have very advanced technology that enable me to literally snapshot invisible reality, to collect the molecules that emit from a smell source, let's say the river, a street, and then reproduce it through chemical compounds. So these abstract artifacts, you have to engage with them. It's a nanotechnology, like each object have a skin. So you have to touch, engage with the object, and then it releases the smell. And that creates a very intimate moment. I hope the audience will have unforgettable moments and it will trigger their own memory and it will trigger their collective memory and maybe enable to make them understand and get interest in their own history. In my work, having impact, that's one of my main issues why I do what I do. There's a whole world to smell and there's a whole world to educate how to smell.